All right, we're here once again for the Bobcat Coach's Corner. We have Hope Clark from the women's soccer team here at Georgia College. Uh, exciting weekend and a great weekend. What a what a difference a week makes for you guys. Yeah. Is uh, you know we come out of two losses in Boca Raton and then and fire through two teams here at home. Uh, great win over Anderson on Friday night, three to zero, and then an outstanding win Sunday against the highest ranked team that we've ever beaten here at Georgia College in Florida Tech, number thirteen team in the country at the time, and we beat them one to zero. Uh, give me give me a feel for for the weekend and and how the team played and, and you know how you felt coming out of those two games. Right. Uh, well, you know I think Friday night first and foremost was uh, extremely exciting. You know to go back and kind of watch the game film. Um, we were just really clicking that night. Uh, every pass was being you know there was great connection between all the players. Uh, really high intensity. Uh, stepping to win those 50-50 balls and it really just changed the tempo of the game. Uh, not to mention the environment. Um, and then Sunday, I think, uh, you know, we knew Florida Tech was going to be a tough game. Uh, the heat, again, was another factor, and we kind of uh, battled it out kind of into this early part of the first half. Uh, made a little change in scheme tactically going into the second half, and uh, it seemed to be effective for us. Okay. Well, talk about the defense a little bit. We're looking at a, at a team that, that put up two shutouts over the weekend. Anderson, no scrubs there. I mean, this is a team that dropped nine goals on Converse and uh, was coming in outscoring their teams by a ridiculous amount. And again, you have a, a team in Florida Tech that, that is very skilled offensively, just very skilled overall, and you're able to shut out both of those teams with different goalkeepers. I mean, what what is it that, about this defense that makes them so successful? Well, I think they're just extremely coachable. Um, like I said, uh, we were working a lot last week on that defensive scheme and uh, really just trying to keep the play in front of us, most importantly, with better body shape, uh, better positioning, trying to keep us tighter in there to create less seams. Um, so, you know, the girls are just very coachable, and we just, just keep hammering it out. Worked a lot last night. Same thing with the defense. And, uh, of course, we've got two strong goalkeepers back there as well. Uh, I feel very fortunate in that case, and uh, it's going to be tough to beat both of them. Okay, well, looking uh, again to Friday night, uh, it was a special night. We had an outstanding crowd, uh, particularly of, of student fans, one of the biggest we've had in, in, in all of our years here at soccer. Uh, it was your first home game. It was your first win at Georgia College as well. I mean, just a lot of firsts and a lot of excitement around that game. Coming after that contest, how did you feel? Well, it's a memorable evening for me, to be honest with you. Uh, again, I think uh, first opportunity to be a head coach here at Georgia College Division Two, and then that environment was unbelievable. I think uh, for anyone who was there, thank you so much for coming. Um, and then for the community and the student support, please keep coming because I think that really ignited the team. Um, and it shows a lot about how much you guys care for athletics and um, you know certainly the women's soccer program. And for me, like I said, just a very memorable evening. Well, looking forward this weekend, we host the, uh, the second annual Little Feet Invitational. Uh, what, what do you know about Little Feet? Can you give us a little bit on the organization and, and, and what they do? Sure. Um, from my understanding, Little Feet organization is, uh, you know, an opportunity and a tool to really um, help, uh, you know, to say impoverished and underprivileged areas, uh, both here in the U.S. and overseas. And uh, in every ball that we purchase, a Little Feet ball, another one is distributed overseas. And right now, their focus is Niger, Africa. Um, so again, our purchase of balls, another one is being sent over to the uh, to Niger, Africa, and and help you know support soccer in the rural areas. Okay, with the idea being that you know if if things aren't going well for you financially, at least you have the opportunity to play with a, a nice brand new soccer ball and, sure. and some happiness in your life there. Sure. Okay, Just, so that that's the purpose of, of of the weekend is to raise a little bit more. Uh, Awareness for that organization, Correct. right? Much more awareness uh, for the organization. Then we have a former, uh, you know, Bobcat women's soccer player that works for the organization. So another great reason to support it. And she's doing a fantastic job, Karen Teresi. Okay. Well, also this weekend, uh, you have uh, an odd schedule. Uh, I know we had to kind of reshuffle things. Uh, the way the weekend shapes up, Friday night at 5 p.m., uh, Georgia Southwestern will take on Barry University from Florida. Then on Saturday, it's uh, Georgia Southwestern against Bruton Parker, which is an NAIA school for the, that you know very well from your past. Uh, also a Florida school, I believe, right? No, Bruton? Where Georgia. are they from? Georgia? They're okay. Georgia. And then uh, on Sunday, uh, finally the Bobcats get Sorry. to get going, and, and that'll be against Barry. Uh, normally a tough squad. We had to go overtime with them last year to beat them 2-1. to one. 
and uh, a multiple time trips to the NCAA tournament. Uh, what are you expecting out of the, the Buccaneers from South Florida? Yeah, I think it's going to be a very tough match. Uh, I'm kind of going into it with the same perspective as Florida Tech. Uh, you know, they just knocked off the number 19 team in the country, North Alabama, about a week and a half ago, and then actually took West Florida, who was number two at the time, um, down to the wire and, and lost by one point. So uh, Barry's coming in there. They're again got quite a few young players coming in, but certainly making a spark and they've got some key um, front runners that are going to be a little difficult to handle. So I think it's going to be a great match. And again, we're going in with the preparedness like it's Florida Tech. Okay, so a big weekend against a, a two and two team, but a, a deceptive record as, as those uh, those contests are against some pretty tough squads there for for Barry University. So we'll look forward to this weekend. Look, to, uh, Stay tuned to GCSUBobcats.com and also the broadcast will be available. Chandler Lee will bring you the action again at uh, GCSURadio.com and on 88.9 FM here in the, the local area. So we'll tune into that and uh, hopefully we'll come out again with another great solid home win and we wish you the best of luck here, Hope. Thank you. Okay, well, thank you for your time. This is once again the Bobcat Coach's Corner, uh, issue three, and, and hopefully a, a preview of a big win again for the, the soccer program this weekend.